So this is my full shoulder workout. This is my first working set of 15 to 20 reps, nice and lightweight. And uh, just really focusing on the contraction of the shoulders, getting nice and a lot of blood in the muscle, a lot of blood in the joints. I still go to pretty much failure on the on my first working set, and then I just keep pyramiding it up, as you already know if you've been watching the channel. But basically, we pyramid up four sets until we get our heaviest set of two to four reps, and then we drop set it down immediately after. So our first exercise, as you can see, is overhead press. We do we do the four pyramid sets, the four drop sets, and then we go on to do squats because the the power cage is a is a commodity in our gym. It's really sacred. You only have one in this place, so we usually just do squats straight after because most people most people are using it, and if we leave it and come back to it at the end, it's not going to be there. So. This is overhead press, I think this is my second or third set, maybe my third set. And then I'll speed it up and then we go on to squats. We did uh, four sets of squats. I kept it nice and light today. I usually take this day as just do whatever I want for legs. So sometimes I'll do front squat, back squat, heavy weight, very heavy weight squats, like par sets, like four sets of two. Sometimes we'll do leg press, sometimes we'll do leg extensions, four drop sets, anything. I just sort of change it up just to get a good bit of activation in the quads mostly because I really want to bring up my quads and I have noticed an amazing benefit by just increasing the frequency. But I'll definitely not be doing legs, push-pull kind of shit. I don't really, I don't think that's good. Like most, most people are saying it's optimal now. Like I don't agree with it. Like I think it's, how, how do people expect to get great results? on every single muscle group if you're hitting some muscle groups before another like say back if you're doing back and biceps your biceps your biceps are already going to be fatigued by doing your back and then people expect to get big biceps I don't I don't necessarily see that but it may it may be a good option to change up your training style but not to do it permanently I believe there's my brother fucking smashing that shit He's he should be doing a YouTube channel in the future, I'd say. He he's really strong, as you can see. Like he that was his uh, I think it was his third set. I'm not sure. We usually lift about the round the same weight and shoulder. I might do a wee bit heavier, but you know he's definitely getting a lot stronger. And he started a bit after me in weight training, but for the first maybe for the first year I was weight training, I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. <laughs> like I <laughs> I was doing machines all day, like. And cardio so so this is me finishing up on the drop set so the shoulders yeah I usually pyramid down to the bottom shoulders and just get a good contraction and just fire the reps out now we're on the squats I only I only videoed two sets of squats but I did four four sets of ten it was I kind of I didn't really go to failure since I got four sets of ten but usually on all my sets I'd go to failure but I just wanted to if you watch the sets I do go down very controlled and keep the form really good and get nice and deep in the squats and that's just to really focus on squeezing the quads and getting the full range of motion and taking any sort of pressure off my back but usually on this this particular day I really do get a good quad pump and the next day my quads will be sore even my glutes and hams a bit and randomly sometimes my calves are sore I don't know if it's like the stretching of it whenever you if you look whenever I come down now you can see the knees move forward a bit and it stretches the calf or something I don't know but definitely I'd recommend hitting legs twice a week if you need to bring your legs up and just throwing it in shoulder day is a pretty good day for me because you get your traps pumped up and your shoulders pumped up and then you can just throw in a bit of squats and it sort of has a bit of cushion yeah this is my I think this was my last set. I think I videoed my first and last set. But I still keep the form nice and good, nice and strong. And just fire through the heels and really bring the hips forward. But not fire them forward. Some people bring their hips forward really too far and it looks painful. So, next exercise is the seated dumbbell shoulder press. We start out off with 15 kilogram dumbbells. That's probably about 30, 35 pounds, I think, each. And we do, we usually do, I think I got 20 reps, I'm not sure. And we just, you know, it's the same method on the 
on usually on each body part day we do two compound exercises for the muscle group and do the pyramid style training and then usually do like an accessory movement or two accessory movements so on back day we would do maybe a, a wide grip pull up and then we would go on to do a bent over row and then our two accessory movements might be one arm dumbbell rows and then bicep curls because you know me and my brother we have pretty big backs already not huge as you can see but compared to the rest of our body and we really need to bring our arms up so that's why we train our arms twice a week but we just throw biceps in on back day triceps in on chest day but have a full arm day as well as you'll see from I think the next video I'll be showing you is an arm day and I've really noticed my arms come up this off season I got put in put about an inch or an inch and a half on my arms in about seven months I think it was which is, which is pretty good like and I, I put on a lot of a lot of weight on this off season and even whenever I'm cutting my body fat's dropping really quickly but I'm not dropping too much weight which is good which is a sign that you've got a good amount of muscle so now we're on this side lateral raises we we just do four sets of probably about 8 to 12 reps just really a light weight but really focus on the contraction of the side delts and the traps uh, we video two sets of this I think it was my first and last set fucking non lifter t-shirt like I actually like this t-shirt because <laughs> the fuck am I doing? I kind of like this t-shirt because it's nice and loose and you can sort of, it's nothing restricting you in the movement. So, I'm just doing, I would say this is really good form in the side laterals coming up. Now I'm not coming to full range of motion because I'm so fatigued. But, shake weight baby! But then I, uh, then we went on the shrugs. Smith machine shrugs. We, we fucking hate the Smith machine for anything else. But, for shrugs it's actually really good. You can get a good squeeze. And it's not rubbing against your dick because it, you can sort of stand further back from the bar and it's not going to pull you over like a barbell would. And uh, we go fairly light on these and do a drop set after each set. And we do a total of four sets overall. So we'll do a set, drop set, set, drop set, set, drop set, set, drop set. <laughs> so we start off with 100 kilograms and then take off... Actually, it wouldn't be 100 kilograms because the bar doesn't weigh fucking anything. But we have two 220s on each side or 245s on each side. And, uh, I mean, 20 kilograms and 45 pounds on each side. So, there's me just burning out in the shrugs, pulling all sorts of faces. And this, see, after this, like, your traps are on fucking fire. And I only video two sets of this because there's no need to video all the sets and I don't want to make the video too long but I want to show you my full shoulder and squats workout and I'll just speed this up right now because you you know what the, the way it works. So let me know what you think about the video guys, like, comment and subscribe.